Hello and welcome back to my blind LP of Ape Escape on the PlayStation 1. This is part 12. I'm Joel. Let's load. We last left off. And I've got to apologise for the last couple of parts. Like, more than couple. I think like five or six, actually. Parts where uh, you might have heard the PS2 in the background. I didn't know it was that loud. It was very loud. So I brought the PS1 back down and uh, hopefully things are a little bit quieter. That thing. It wanted to, know and it, it wanted to be known it was there. It really did. Right, so that's the one we need to load. There we go. Make sure everything's recording. And uh, let's go. Okay. Right. Next level. Here we go. Been really looking forward all day playing this. So. It's a new... It's a new... Actually, it's a new... Uh, let me just say, it's a new... Um, let's just do this. Right, let's just hit the next stage. So, the next stage is Ice Age Monkey Hot Springs. All right, let's do it. Do we have a cutscene? We do not. So let's see our totals. Hello, robot girl. And um, we've got to capture six monkeys out of nine, and there's two spectre coins. Right. So yeah, it's a new one, um, new night tonight. Um, it's currently what time is it? It is currently uh half eleven at night, and uh, hopefully I'm gonna get well. Hopefully have a big long session of playing Ape Escape. I think that sounds great. There's a couple of monkeys down there. I didn't know what the stage looked like because I was looking at me watch. I'm probably one of the few people that still wear watches at my age range. Right, there we go. That was easy. Okay, that's the biscuit barrel. We don't need that. Ah, these are the... Oh dear. Get back here. Oh, he's jumping. Oh dear, he's going to land on me. Yeah, the slingshot probably isn't the best thing to use against that. Let's get the stun thing out. There we go. Oi. Cheeky snowman. It's like a gangster snowman. I love that design. Oh, got an extra life. Right. Um, there was another one here. Oh, that's rude. Oh, dear. He's beating me up. This gangster snowman is beating me up. Oh. Uh, great. What a brilliant start. Give me that biscuit. Might as well hit this and get some more biscuits. There we go. I'm going to assume if you hit that enough, it just disappears. Now, wait, are these the hot springs? Do these hurt me? Only way to find out. Find out. That's using science. Yeah, it does. Okay, good Good to know. I wasn't sure if it was... It hurt you, or it kind of was like like a, a something that blew you up and that you could use the propeller. You know, this thing. Which is really cool. Uh, oh yeah, we can't go in the water because it's very cold. Um, let's go this way through the cave, shall we? Yeah. Right. Uh, right. Let's read this thing. The passageway is blocked by an ice com. It seems like you'll break it if you launch something heavy and smash it. What ice column is this then? I don't see ice column. Um, I see a monkey. It's gonna probably shoot at me, so let's get out of the way. Yeah, knew it. You mean this? Is this the ice column I need to break? Oh, I don't know. There was a polar bear here. Ah, I think I know what I need to do. I think I need to lure it. Okay, that's about. That Right, crawling hasn't worked. It's going to charge, isn't it? And hopefully smash. Right. I like the sound effects of the eyes. Come on. Come on, get closer and smash these for me. No, I don't think... I don't... Maybe... Maybe... Maybe that's not the case. Maybe I need to... No. I don't think any. I don't think anything's got to do with that polar bear. Maybe, maybe I can beat the polar bear up. Oi! Ah, oh, there we go. If you hit it, oh, oh, I see. If you hit it, it slides. Oh, that is amusing. Right, let's let's. <laughs> that is amazing. No, you don't. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh, this is. I love this game. It's not every time, every game you can like, you know, 
hit a polar bear and it slides on its bum and then smash into ice. That's brilliant. Come on. Do it again. Come on. There we go. Wait, what happens if I do it that way again? Hold on. No, okay, he just sli he doesn't he only slides on the ice. Okay, good to know. Right, let's go this way. That was beautiful. That was lovely to spin this thing. Oh. Um, do I whack this with the No. Don't know why there's like a, a biscuit barrel there. Maybe I gotta get the thing to follow me in here and do it all over again and hit these pillars. I don't get why there was... Hmm. Got anything to do with those? Is that? Is there anything... Right, hold on. Let me see if I can clip the camera through the thing. No, that's they're, they're just there for decoration. Okay, good to know. They kind of look like... Because they had those chips over it. Let's just whack this polar bear at the bum again. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Right. Okay. This is less animal cruelty than, like, Tomb Raider. Oh, I've got more of this fun to... They've got more of this. This is just so good. I don't know why this amuses me so much, but it really does. Come on. Oh, missed it. Even, even the squeakiness of the... There we go, that should break. Even the squeakiness of when you change direction on the ice is just... It's just... Great. This, this polar bear is getting a beat, and I feel sorry for it. I really do. I've missed that. He's like, what? <laughs> just look at his face. He's like, what's happening? <laughs> I was just having a peaceful nap, and then this kid with a lightsaber just comes up at me and just starts hitting me with it, and I slide on my on my butt into... <laughs> look at it. If you're having a bad day, just feel sorry for that polar bear. Alright, there's an extra life here. No, you don't. Come here, you little cheeky monkey. Come here, cheeky monkey. No, you don't, cheeky monkey. Hey, cheeky monkey. Wow, this one's giving me problems. There we go. Alright, that's two down out of, out of the six we need. Like that switch. Okay, um, don't think I'm quite done yet in this area, so let's just still explore. There might be a couple more cheeky monkeys. What's that say up there? Warning. We're in like an ice space or something. Oh, look at that. Spectre coin. And a monkey. All right, where do we get that then? Hmm. Do we shoot that? Oh, come on, no. I want camera. Do we shoot that sign? No, I, don't th I just think those signs are there for decoration. Just ignore the signs. Right, I'm going to let him peacefully sleep. I, I feel mean whacking him again. Right, yeah, I think we go that way. Now I'll guess it's the Spectre coin. No, you don't. <laughs> I can't get over that. This is so good. This is one of the best. I think this is definitely my like, top five. PlayStation games, it really is. Oh, I'm happy. Oh, come on. Oh, terrible at aiming with this. This polar bears. Poor polar bears. Just... There we go. That should hit that. There we go. One more time. For just. Oh. There we go. That should smash. There. Nicely done. All right. Get the net back out. Jake, him okay? Get off that computer. Get, get off there. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Whack that. That's going to open this gate. Might as well get a spectre coin. And let's just have a look around in this room, shall we? Just warning. It's like in an ice space or something. It's got polar bears for some reason. So what I was thinking, uh, when I go to revisit the stages, I'm going to do it in the chunks. Like, um, not, each, not revisit each stage... In an individual video, I'm just going to do it in the chunks. So for the like the first period, um, what was it, Jurassic period or something, I'm going to do it in one big block. So I'm going to go back to one level one, level two, and level three. Well, I won't go back to level two because I completed it. But you get what I mean. Then in the next one will be the prim, well, not the primitive, the Cenozoic era, era. I'll go back and do that one in one, like one, two, and three. So I just thought I'd let you know about that. 
And hopefully the videos aren't quite. Ah, there's a thing up there. Oh, now I need this. I now need the gadget. Honestly, this is just this is just so good. Oh, look at the look. There's the Aura Borealis up there. Last time I saw that was in uh, Skinner's kitchen. Look at that though. Look at that skybox. This is honestly this is. Oh wait, hold on. I'm going to need this thing. I can't believe I actually made that. There we go. What's this say? I'm going to have to get the flax stick out. Um, might as well just do it there until until I need until I need the net for the monkey. There is a bridge made of ice ahead. Get over as quickly as you can before the ice breaks under your feet. All right, thanks for telling me that. Draw distance isn't the best, though. I think that's the only thing that's really letting down the graphics. But other than that, it's still absolutely beautiful. And these gadgets are actually really fun to use. They're not... Act oh, bugger. I thought he was going to jump off just to his doom, then. Oh, I thought he just, like, had enough of life. I'm just going to jump off. I'm too gangster for this game. Right. Just use this, shall I? Oh, I think... Ah, never mind. Oh, this is not cold enough. We can actually swim in this water. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought it was, I thought the water in this stage was, like, too cold to, um... I thought it was her us, but I guess not here. Oh, dear. Oh, he's... Look at him. Oh, it's a red monkey, so he's, he's a dangerous monkey. Where's he gone? Right, let's get the net out. There we go. That's not too bad. That was not too bad. Huh. Well, I'm glad I fell into there then, because I wouldn't have got... I wouldn't have got that monkey. I wouldn't have got that monkey. And also what I like about this game, the levels are just the right size. I'm not a fan of... See, I'm not, I don't mind collector fonds. Like Banjo Kazoo, where the levels are quite like, especially two, where the levels are big, but there's a lot to do in it, and you and it has character. The levels have character, if you know what I mean. They're like a proper world, but when the the words don't have any character, then there's no real world building. Um, like like, why did I do that? It's because I'm talking too much. I'm not thinking. Get these biscuits. No, get the biscuits. There we go. Um. Just use this. Like, you know, it's just like worlds like Spyro. They don't really have any world building. They're just a, a level to play in, in my opinion. I like them when they're small, like this. And um, these are just the right size levels. Like, just like in Spyro, they're just the right size amount. You know, you don't you don't kind of get bored of a level. Uh, ah. Ah, it's because I... Oh, land on the floor, though. It's because I jumped. It's my bad, that. You can't jump with this thing, can you? I, for I forgot. You only run with it. If you jump, it cancels out. Oh, does this have an endless supply of biscuits? I'm curious now. I think it does. Well, that makes it kind of easy, really. If you've got an em endless slide of biscuits. Hmm. not going to complain. I mean... I wish I had an endless supply of jar of biscuits. Although, I'm kind of can't really eat gluten, it makes me sick. But uh, I do like biscuits. Actually, to be fair, gluten free biscuits are absolutely lush. They really are. They're, they're, they're crisp and they, they're, they're just really tasty. I don't know why, but I was pleasantly surprised. Oh, oh come on! I. Oh. Why is this ice giving me so much problem? I, I'm just, I'm just being a tit. Right. Get up there. Right. I'm gonna have to just concentrate now. Just concentrate. Stop thinking about endless supply of biscuits. So let's talk about biscuits. It's making me just like dip. Mine's on biscuits. Oh, come on! I've derped again. I can't believe this. I, I apologize right now. I really do apologize. Right, come on. Get with this. No, no, select the thing that whacks the biscuit jar over here. 
Alright. Okay, come on. People don't want to watch you fail at a game over and over again. Oh, how did I not make that? Can be a bit awkward using this thing. Come on. There we go. There we go. That was, that was, I don't know why that gave me so much problems. It, please, cheeky monkey, I'm not in the mood. I am not in the mood, you cheeky monkey. Get back here, get in the net. Oh no, there's, oh, there's lots of monsters around, come on. There we go. Right, get the stun club out. Don't come back. Oh, there you are. Oh, thanks for the biscuit. Needed that. Right, get these uh, Toblerones. Or Dorito chips. Or Triforces. There's so many things you could say about that. Right, let's get rid of this. It's easy just to shoot these things, I think. There we go. Oh, now we're behind the waterfall. Ah, oh, this is a beautiful stage. It really is. Hold on. Oh, you absolute git. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Here we go. Look at that. Right. Um. Oh, we're going over there, are we? Okay. There we go. What's on the other side? Nothing. Right, we are going this way. Okay. Oh, not quite high enough for that. There we go. No, still not quite high enough for that. Come on. Oh, cap Why are you not getting up there? You get. I was just about to make that jump. You're coming. I'm No, I'm taking you down for that. No. You could have had a nice existence living peacefully in this lovely monkey. If I could hit you. Yeah. This monkey hot spring, but no, you decided to be a git, and you shall suffer. I cannot make this jump, and it's it, 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 it's getting at me. I just, this level is really showing me up right now. There we go. Let's get the, let's get this thing out. Might as well slip on the banana. What? Ooh, that was close. Oh, come on. There we go. How many monkeys have we got left? Oh, that was it. Okay. Derpy playing. Right. You're good. You gonna say it? You're good. Thank you. So British ponytail pig sorry, pig tail lady thing. Right. Oh, Buzz attack I've been part two. For you, Spike. This will be a fight just between you and me. Follow me. All right, are we doing another race? Right. I don't like these. <laughs> but if you fail, I think you can go back and retry. So that's not too bad. Let's go. Oh. Okay. Oh, I've got one of these things. Huh? No, you don't. Whatever your name is, Buzz. What a stupid name. Right, we're going this way, right? Cut all the corners. He seems to not cut corners. Would have been handy if you were. Uh... Why didn't I. Why couldn't I do that? I pressed the bloody jump button, but it didn't work. There we go. What happens if you fail that? Where would you go? Oh, ground, could you come back? I'm gonna land in the lava, aren't I? Yep. Thought as much. Oh, come on! I went through the ground there! Are 
He's going to beat me, isn't he? He bloody is. Ah, oh, that is, that is, that is not my fault. I went through the ground on that lava. I'm not having that. I ain't having that game. Shut up. I'm not even, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to talk to you. <sighs> I'm going to have to do that again. Do you see that? Clip through the actual solid ground. Oh, I'm going to close my eyes so I don't see the thing. There you go. Dimension Buds Attack Part 2. Oh, it's actually the full map of that. That's quite nif. That's quite cool, actually. Right, let's do this again. <sighs> Can't believe it. I'm not having that. I hate when you lose because the game glitches. Shut up. These are actually quite difficult. I love how he starts on the place here. There we go. Not too bad. If you cut the corner, it seems to be better. Oh, there we go. Jump that. Oh. It's really weird, that jump. It really is. It, sometimes it doesn't work, and sometimes it does. Right, make, make sure that goes past. There we go. Start jumping now. Okay. This time, hopefully, I won't land in the bloody lava. If I do it like that, maybe that's all right. Oh. I'm just going to do that. I think I got it this time. Yep, there we go. When I didn't glitch through the lava, I got that. Well, not through the lava, but through the floor. There are weird boss stages, don't you? Right, is that five Spectre coins again? Spike wins. Yeah, there you go. Five Spectre coins. Don't care what you're going to say. You made me mad the first time around. I could have got that first time if it wasn't for the glitch. Anyway, that's that part done. Let's go and read our monkey book and save that and call that part 12. Right. I've got 65 monkeys out of question mark. Right. Ugh, I'm going to have to go through all these. Hold on. And on I say... Right, there we go. Monkey Hot Springs. Right. Let's read these, shall we? Data. So we've got bit... Feels like Puppet. Lens, good at spying. Roddy, quite human. Teacher, good at English. Darwin, missing link. Magpie hoards things. There we go. So uh, that was part 12 of Let's Play Ape Escape Blind. I am loving this game and I'm going to hopefully pull an all-nighter and get a fair chunk of this done because this game is just superb it really is right save make sure i click save yes save over a frozen ocean yes and um that was um apescape so yeah take care have a lovely day hope you're enjoying the series so far um and i've been joel and uh, bye for now <laughs>